how to add a custom cursor in Google Chrome web browser. The first thing you need to do is open up Google Chrome and then navigate to the Chrome web store at the following URL address. I'll put this URL address in the video description for your convenience. Once you're on the Chrome Web Store, navigate to the top left hand corner here to the search box and left click on it. Then type the following, custom cursor for Chrome. Once you've entered that in, hit enter to search. Once you've done that, you'll get a list of extensions that are available on the Chrome Web Store. Navigate to the top right hand corner here to where it says more extensions and left click on it. Once you've done that, continue to scroll down until you see custom cursor for Chrome. It is offered by custom-cursor.com. It's got over 17,000 reviews and it's in the fun category. Once you've found this extension, left click on it. If you're having trouble finding the custom cursor for Chrome, I'll put this link in the video description below, which will easily take you to this web page. As you can see, it currently has 4 million plus users that currently have added custom cursor for Chrome as an extension on the Google Chrome web browser. To add this to Chrome, what you'll need to do next is left click on add to Chrome here, the blue button on the right hand corner. You'll then be greeted with this notification that says add custom cursor for Chrome. It can read and change all your data on the websites you visit. You have the option to cancel or the option to add extension. We're going to be adding this extension. Hit add extension. The extension will then begin to download and then will be added to your Google Chrome web browser. Once the installation is complete, a new window will open and you'll be greeted with this thank you message, which says, thank you for choosing custom cursor. To add your first custom cursor to Chrome, what you'll need to do is navigate to the top right hand corner here and left click on this little puzzle icon that says extensions. Left click on it and then left click on custom cursor for Chrome here. Once you've done that, the custom cursor collection will then open where you can select a custom cursor here. You can upload your own cursor or you can search for more cursors. And what I'm going to simply do is left click on custom cursors as I don't like any of the ones currently here. So just left click on custom cursor here. A new window will then open where you'll be able to see the new custom packs. I'm going to scroll back up to the top here and I'm going to left click on this search box here. Once you've done that, just simply search for a custom cursor that you would like to add. I would like to add an Among Us custom cursor, so I'm going to simply search for Among Us. Once you've entered a custom cursor name into the search box here, just simply hit enter and custom cursor will search. As you can see, 48 results were found for an Among Us custom cursor. Now for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go with the top left one here, which is a blue Among Us character and a little saucer here. So to add this custom cursor, all you need to do is left click on add here. Once you've done that, as you can see at the top right hand corner here, it says success. The custom cursor will then be added to your collection. Now to change your current cursor to the custom cursor you just added to your collection, all you need to do is left click again on the extensions icon here and left click on custom cursor for Chrome. As you can see, in my collection, we have the Among Us custom cursor that we just added. Now, all you need to do to use this custom cursor is left click on it. And there we go, guys. We have our little Among Us custom cursor. So the regular arrow has been replaced by the saucer and the little hand cursor when you hover over things has been replaced by the blue Among Us character. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.